Okay, so I am home um, after a 30-day um, declutter, basically, of my home. It is doable. Um, I don't even think I've totally used 30 days. Uh, what I did first was I had my kids get their rooms taken care of. And then my husband got the garage pretty much cleared. And then I, he took some of my stuff, but I did a lot of it today. And, um, yeah, so 30 day declutter is doable. And I think the key is as a minimalist, not to have a lot in the first place. And this is a 30 day declutter with like 30 years of stuff. And when I say 30 years of stuff, that is minimalist stuff. That is living off things that I had already, using everything I had so I didn't have to spend a lot. And I didn't really start spending on myself until we were here. And even then, um, not too much, you know, just just investing like with my education and the gym and the pool and um, experiences kind of over stuff still. So if you all your life for about, you know, 30 years plus your childhood, um, don't really buy a whole lot and you can live off, you know, writing and reading um, and really cheap activities like going to the library, going to people's houses, um, you can really save a lot of money and time. And if I had not already decluttered, um, some stuff this year, I don't know that I could have got it done so quickly. So, um, you know, keep it pulled in in life. Keep it pulled in because you never know what's going to happen. You never know if someone's going to tell you to move really quick or, um, you know, that was a, that was like a, what do you call that? When someone blindsides you, sides you, when you don't expect it, you don't know when you're going to lose somebody. You don't know what kind of emergencies you're going to have in life. I mean, my kids have had a lot of my time. I don't regret anything. I have pulled them in so far that usually issues have been taken, been taken care of pretty quickly because I've had a really strong hand on my home um, and my family and my finances. Um, like right now, I had to clear up a little bit of debt, um, just stupid stuff like um, an insurance company had put something on my um, credit report like this year that I didn't, I wasn't even aware of. I thought that was taken care of. Um, and then there was one major thing that, you know, my husband felt like, okay, you're, you gotta stay, you know, he wanted me home to raise my kids and it just wasn't doable at a time. Um, so that's something that I was willing to live with, um, to take care of my kids instead of, um, you know, making things harder for us financially because when I first got married um, I did have some debt and I did not expect to have kids I thought we couldn't have kids and so that was um, you know even with planning you know we didn't I didn't think I could have kids so um, that was something that had to wait and um, yeah get your finances in order I just read a book on credit get your credit in order and, you know, I'll probably be now that I have most of the moving stuff done. Um, I've got to just finish up a few things. Then it's probably getting the money um, stashed away real quick. And, um, you know, just finding what I want. But get, get the side hustles again. Um, you know, I had to take a break from one side hustle because... Um, you know, I needed some time to figure out what we're doing here and pack a little bit more. And also, you know, knowing what kind of work you like is important. Um, are you a background worker who likes to be in the spotlight with certain things? Or do you always like to be in the spotlight? Do you like, you know, work that is creative? Or do you like work that is the same old thing? I like variety, so I don't mind being in the same type of business with different companies to work for because I 
I've learned so much. Um, so yeah, just stashing away money and getting your credit in a good situation and taking care of debt should definitely help you in life. But always, you know, don't let um, money compromise your family. So definitely stay on your home, stay on your stuff. You don't need a lot. I'm probably looking to downsize now because my finances are more important now than uh, what they used to be. I mean, I've learned a lot lately. And, you know, when we lived in the trailer for, you know, 23 years, we were living there on very little, but I was building my family, which, you know, you can't, you can't replace having so much time with your kids and just enjoying your family. Nothing replaces it. So that was great. And then to, you know, be into rent a nice big, you know, three bedroom home was a reward, I think, for all that work. And that was a wonderful time the last three years of renting this place. And so now where my finances are a priority for the future, um, and looking to invest in things and get a little wiser with money, whether that's properties or stocks or whatever I want to do, I definitely want the money to be the priority in the um, housing as my kids are just growing up to be smaller. So that's the plan and we'll see what happens.